you know, you, you did something bad once after that, though, so, you know. Yeah, well, exactly, but where's the reparation? Where's the reparations for the Scottish and Irish? Where's where's our apology and our like? I my family was forced to live in buttfuck Manitoba with moose and and natives because they wouldn't get hired anywhere else in the country. We don't we don't get to whine and cry about it and, and get money for it. No, not at all. What about the Vikings who got ran out of here four hundred years ago by the cold? Why aren't you paying us for that? Yeah. Who's paying us for the fucking power outage we left for, for a fucking, like, four days? Yeah, exactly. I didn't get a check. Which one? We apologized to me. I had to go in and fucking cut fucking belts by hand in the fucking dark. Nobody gave me a fucking check for it. Right? I'm not... No more, no more solving problems for people who aren't going to help themselves and then giving them money for it. That's not happening. You want money, go out and work. Oh, by the way, there is something that I think we should we should just lightly discuss because I just it was just amazing. Please, um, during the um, the uh, uh, the, uh, the the Notre Dame fire, Donald Trump had tweeted about it. Of course, and his amazing tweet was um, basically they should send one of those fucking uh, water tanker planes to drop a bunch of water on it. And it's just, oh. you know, yes, first of all, nobody asked your there. opinion. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Secondly, just shut the fuck up. Please. So that was just genius. I just thought that, and I thought he, it was fucking awesome. I, I missed that. He actually, I should actually, I follow him on Twitter, and I didn't even see that. I'm going to see if I can pull up the old Twitter right here while we talk. Um, that is absolutely amazing. Send a water bomber. Yeah, like, we'll do it. That's, that's like what he said. Send a water bomber over the church. Wow. Does does he? Uh, I'm not even going to ask anymore if he thinks before he speaks. But um, that to me is just like, come on, man. You run a country. Like, doesn't anyone in the country ever tell him not to talk about shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't understand. All right, where's where's Trump here? I got him on that. I got him on the Twitter. Now I can look up the Twitter because now I know how to use the goddamn computer. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, here, sorry. here, I have this quote right here. I got distracted by Degrassi stuff there for a sec. Hang on, go ahead. Okay, so his actual quote was, um, "So horrible to watch the massive fire at Notre Dame." Uh, cathedral in Paris. Perhaps flying water tankers could be could be used to put it out. Must act must act quickly. When we left the plane, it was burning at a level that you rarely see fire burn. <laughs> <laughs> Everything to that guy is the greatest thing ever. Everything. Wow. Burning like, up. Well, hey, he said something nice about the French, basically, in an offhanded way. That's his. It's burning in a way that you don't often see fire burn. Well, how do you see fire burn, you big moron? I, I don't know, because I'm pretty sure that it was a bunch of orange and yellow flames rising up and creating smoke and heat. Oh, yeah, because that's how fire fucking acts. I, I keep forgetting that. What a just a knob. I just love the fact that he calls them flying water tankers. <laughs> like, flying water tankers. You know, because yeah. why not, why, why call the, uh, why not just call them for what they are, which is, you know, fire planes. But, you know, we can't have that. No, it's, uh, water tankers. makes perfect sense. Um, Wow. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. Sorry, and I'm just I got I got distracted. Um, um, you know, because of the Twitter. Uh, we we just broke dollar uh, seventy. Per hey, liter. we hit a nice, awesome dollar seventy per liter for gas. So 
There you go. Lucky you. That's, uh, um, that is just absolutely ridiculous. I remember when he used to hit 56 cents when I worked at Mohawk and people would lose their minds. Um, dollar seventy. Just absolutely unbelievable. And, and Justin Trudeau saying, hey, this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, say goodbye to BC votes, big fella. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Oh, carbon tax, fuck you. That would be awesome <laughs> for him to say that if he wasn't giving exemptions to the big polluters. Uh, that would make, yeah. you know... Um, but unfortunately, he is... And that's what he. Uh, and uh, the well, it's being shown across the country what people think of the liberals. I mean, a massive uh, conservative landslide in Alberta, um, and it, it's just so many people are so happy about it. It's ridiculous. Like Stephen Harper is, is happy. That guy hasn't said anything since he lost, but he's out shaking hands with Andrew Shear and and uh, Jason Kenney, and it's just ridiculous. Now we got to see what happens with the uh, gas in BC. Um, cause I just can't believe it's a dollar fucking seventy. And people like you don't hear. And the thing I don't understand is you don't hear. Like I don't hear anything about it from BC like freaking out about this. Yeah, well, people are not really freaking out because they're used to it. Like it's, it's not a massive increase. It's been steadily going up that way for a long, long time. Oh, yeah, but a dollar seventy. I mean, the well, yeah. I mean, I saw it was sixty seven. I was out there a few times, but yeah. Um, and this is—it's only going to get worse for us. Um, That's the, because uh, you guys are the leading example for the carbon tax. Yeah, but it's the carbon tax isn't going to mean anything if we stop getting gasoline from Alberta. Um, because that's basically uh, Jason Kenney's big thing. He's going to shut off. We're not getting gas if we don't accept oil. Oil doesn't flow through that pipeline. We don't buy gas from BC anymore. It's pretty much that. Um, pretty, pretty ridiculous. Uh, I, the whole country is just being fragmented by this idiot. And he doesn't even really know what's going on. But I mean, Sask- Saskatchewan has no relationship with anybody anymore. They're also going to court fighting the carbon tax. Um, Ontario is pretty much just do whatever the fuck they want. Um, yeah, PC, PC and Alberta are going to run each other into the ground. It's, uh, we're all going to end up living in Nunavut. Thank God it's melting. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck. At least there'll be some land. See, that's how <laughs> it all comes right. back. This is where Eric's mind goes. Years before everyone else's. <laughs> Global warming? Well, thank fucking God, because the South is going to get destroyed. We're going to have to move up there, and I want it to be a lot warmer when I get there. Right. I want to get up there and freeze my balls off. Where's the fun in that? Absolutely. My God, these guys. They're really loud. They're playing that Go or whatever it is. You know, crazy Chinese game that nobody understands, but they take it very, very seriously. Um, I'm just going to agree and say, yes, I yeah. know what you're talking about. Well, I don't. you will. You're going to have to learn it because we're all going to be. I, I, I do not. I will not. And I care not. Well, we are definitely, you know, right now, while we're all distracted by carbon taxes and gas prices and stuff, has anyone mentioned them, you know? Huawei just went, all I see all over the country, well, over the country, when I say all over the country, I mean in like the 16 blocks that I travel ever, um, (laughs) (laughs) giant posters advertising the new Huawei uh, device and how awesome it is. (coughs) that's, That's just fucked up. People are loving this phone. Um, it's right up there with the, like the, the new Galaxy and the new iPhone. So, I mean, you know, how bad are these people really? How much do we care when we're going, oh, my God, they're spying on us. We have to put the woman in jail. And blah, blah, blah. But I, I love that phone. But the service is excellent. Right? And their phones are, technology-wise, they're, they're second to none. So what the fuck? We love them. Let's just let it go. They're the least of our concerns. Yeah, it's true. But what a great uh, uh, distraction tactic to get us off the fact that our own prime minister is ruining the country and uh, all the premiers are rallying against him by going super ultra conservative. Um, In the meantime, (laughs) let's take our attention off that and go, oh, these cell phone people are doing exactly what you said they could do by signing their little uh, agreement. 
You know the thing I don't understand about the agreements that Trudeau gets people to sign or that people agree to sign? He, he, he gets these countries to do bring in product, bring in services, whatever it might be. I'm sorry, I got I was asked something by a person. I didn't understand what they asked, so I should have just listened to you. Uh, yeah, can you repeat your question there, Gord? I'm sorry. Well, what, what I don't get is that, you know, like Trudeau gets these guys to come into the country and to invest in whatever it is. He doesn't look at any form of a repercussion about what the investment would do. But the worst thing is, is that if he cancels these investments, then we get levied with fines. Yes, but he can't even cancel the investments because usually they make it uh, so... They, they get to buy the home brands. They're not just investing in a Canadian company. They get to outright buy the company. So if we can't, like, that company is gone. Uh, I just don't... I, I just don't... I don't understand. I'm so, I'm so confused. Like Yeah, nobody who, does. Like, what I really don't get is that... Okay, so Trudeau clearly doesn't know what the law means. Okay, I get it. I'm not a lawyer. Sure, I can understand. Right. But he's the prime minister. He, he's got access to lawyers. He does. There's nobody look over this shit and say, Justin, buddy, what are you doing? This is not a good business deal. This is not how you write a business deal. This is bad business. No, yeah. yeah but I, you would think that same group of people would say, hey, you're not allowed to go to that island with the rich guy. It looks bad. Don't do it. As your first thing you ever do in office, um, you know they 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 would, the, the same people would say, "Hey, your pot law doesn't really make pot legal. Do you want to maybe re- redo that?" Uh, nobody seems to say anything to this guy. I just don't get it. What are you afraid of? He's a fucking pussy. Well, he'll fire your ass. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, no but one, anytime. no one wants to lose their job. Now look what he did to the one lady who spoke up against him. Well, yeah, but look how long it took him, though. Again, it's not like he makes these crap decisions quick. No, that's true. Um, but I mean, if that was Trump, Trump would have fucking fired that fucking chick months ago. The second she broke the fucking story, the second she opened her mouth, Trump would have been, you're fired. That's it, get out. <laughs> I don't need you part of this administration. You're fired, get out. Fuck you. Is that really the uh, the yardstick we're using now? Well, well, you got to admit, though. I mean, it's the same it. thing. <laughs> but I mean, it's the same thing for a like, business. Like, <laughs> sorry. That was just fun. That show is hilarious, though. Uh, sorry. Continue business. Did I lose you, Gord? Gord. Ah, uh, no. Okay, I appear to have lost Gord. I'm not sure why. I will throw to a song and see where he has gone to and get right back to you. One moment, everybody. Here's, uh, here's an old one we haven't heard for a while. That's what the message came up on this thing and said. Okay, and now you're really, really quiet. Yeah, you're a little bit quieter too.